For many kart racers, installing the rear bumper is one of the most intimidating processes and the least understood. Well, today I'm hoping that we can shed a little bit of light on that as we go and install the rear bumper on this Mini 18 to show you how simple it really can be. Here I have my bumper upright support system already pre-assembled and I've made another video showing how to put this together and how easy it all goes together if you understand which component mates with which. For that, check it out right there. Now that we have this all put together and we have the rear of our frame tubes ready to put these in, the next step essentially is to go ahead and take the rubber bushing, hold the head of the bolt, and apply a little bit of pressure and slide it in. There really isn't a lot more to it, especially when the cart's new, that's about all that's going to be involved. Take a six millimeter Allen, tighten that rubber bushing as the threads in that compress, that bushing will compress, and that's going to allow this to remain upright. As it begins to tighten, now you'll start to feel that resistance. Hold the bumper upright straight up and down and keep turning the main screw until it is quite tight. If you over tighten this, you can run the risk of pulling the threads out of the bushing. So you don't want to get extremely, extremely tight with this. Many systems also have basically a double nut system where one will keep it tight and the other one will lock that bolt into place. In that case, you have basically double the retention. So uh, there you, don't, you really don't need to get it quite as tight. And of course the ultimate test is if you're able to rotate it side to side, likely still a little bit too loose. Of course we don't want it pulling out of the frame. Now we've got both uprights installed and tight in the rear of our go-kart and now it's time to put on the rear bumper support plates. These plates are uh, designed to slide up and down on the support upright stanchions and mount to the actual plastic rear bumper. They're one of the most key parts of this whole bumper assembly and it's very important to mount them in the correct direction and tight enough that they're not going to fall off but loose enough that they can slide up and down vertically. If you try to tighten those up, they will work loose and it will affect the cart handling. And it is something that the cart uh, manufacturers do intend to be slightly loose as the cart goes around the racetrack. Every now and again, when these come back from the chrome process, the chrome can be a little bit thick on either the upright or the support plate. And you may need to work this a little bit loose with an adjustable wrench or put it in a vise and open it up. That every now and again can happen. Once you've ensured that that is proper, you are going to take your M8 bolt, not the Allen head bolt in this kit, but the actual hex head bolt, a washer, fit that in on the uh, front side. And then with the long side basically pointing in towards the center of the go-kart, slot that in. Um, there is a slotted area as well as a single hole drilled in these uprights. Put the bolt through the single hole which is going to force the upright support to actually move up and down. Take the washer, put that on the, uh, the bolt, and then thread on your nut. As we go to tighten this down, my recommendation would be to uh, have a 13 millimeter socket as well as a 13 millimeter wrench. Doesn't necessarily matter which side you use on which side of the bolt, but having both will allow you to properly tighten this down. Now again, in order for this to be able to move up and down, it's important that we get it tight, but we don't want it to be too tight. So there you can see I can't pull it back or forth, but I can still move this up and down smoothly. I'm gonna do that on the other side, and then we're gonna be ready to actually put the plastic bumper on the rear of this chassis. One quick tip to make sure that you're putting together your adjustable rear width rear bumper on the correct side is these divots that allow air and rocks to go underneath the bumper, those will need to be on the bottom side of the bumper. Once you have that all sorted, bring your bumper in and lay them over gently on the bumper support uprights. Hold it in position perhaps with your body weight, take one of your conical uh, screws and look down and find the adjustment area where you can put the screw through um, on the actual support plate. Put a backing washer, make sure it's nice and wide on the back side between the nut and the supporting bracket. And then go ahead and lightly put that into place. Make adjustments using the markings on the back side of the bumper as necessary, like we've shown in some of the other videos. And once you're ready, go ahead and tighten it down. That's it for this section of the DR Mini 18 chassis. 
part build where we put together the rear bumper and showed you how to put together the bumper upright supports and the full width plastic rear bumper on the back of the chassis. For more, head over to pointcarding.com and check out more of our video series. Thank you.